everyone. Thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Today we are doing a little plan with me in my little challenge journal. I'm using the 2019 monthly petite planner from Erin Condren and each month I'm doing a challenge. Some are health, um, some are declutter and cleaning, some are budgeting, just various different challenges that I want to try. I'm trying them out each month to see how I like them. Um, First of all, check out the description below. I will have a link to this petite planner if it is still available. I will also have my $10 off your first purchase on Erin Condren link below that gets me $10 back so I can bring hauls to you on items like this to you all, but it also gets you $10. I also have links to my social media if you wanna see how I am using some of Erin Condren's other project, um, products. So we are going to do the 30 day ab challenge for February. Um, this was a bigger sheet. I just cut it down to fit in my little pouch that I keep in my um, planner on the go portfolio. And so um, we're going to lay that down for February. And um, uh, last month I laid down my savings tracker challenge. So that is going on all year but this is a monthly one I wanted to try. Um, I think I might try to cut this out. I don't know, I was thinking about cutting out abs challenge and putting it there. I might cut it out with some pretty scissors to kind of give it a cute texture. Um, but we're just gonna lay these out today. It's literally just crunches each day and I'm gonna see how I like it. Um, so, we will start day one on the 29th, and I'm just going to lay that down for each day. And I'll just kind of check it off or put an X if I miss, although I will probably try to make the days up if I miss them, because I really want to see, you know, if this challenge works. Um, I got this sheet from Nash's Printwork, and I will link them below as well if you're interested in seeing if they still have it so that maybe you can try it as well with me. So I've never been one for crunches though. I did order some other ones. I've got squats and planks and I do like both of those a little bit more than crunches. And so I will try those in an upcoming month. I just haven't decided what month I want to try them yet. Um, like I said, each month um, I'm kind of doing something a little different. Some are fitness, some are budget, and I kind of just want to see which ones I enjoy and which ones I don't. And why did I do that? So that's what happens when you cut a sheet up. You kind of move the numbers. So. And this is a 30 day challenge. So um, I'm going to have a couple days left over. Um, I might run them into the next month or I could just leave them in this month and just make sure to complete them. I haven't decided how I want to do that yet. So I guess it kind of depends on what I decide to use um, March 4, I was thinking of doing the plank challenge in March. And if I do that, then I'm gonna have some overflow. 85 crunches on Valentine's Day. I'll be earning my sweets then. And I am trying not to cover up where they put like President's Day and stuff like that because I think it's kind of neat to know when those days occur. Not only like just for mailing holidays when I know I can't mail things, but just I think it's interesting to know. And it's not something I actively write down. So I'm actually, I love how these little challenge icons look in this planner. It's super cute. So if these are still in the shop, I will try to um, 
do a direct link for you all. I'll link the overall shop, but um, I'll definitely try to link it as well. And I am gonna go ahead and just overflow these. I'll know that March 1st and 2nd, I need to continue this challenge. And if it overlaps, if I do the plank challenge, it'll just overlap some and that'll be fine. So, and I will advise with Nash's print work, they have sales all the time. Um, I follow some of their PR girls on Instagram and they are amazing. They share links of the different sales and there's different times of the year so far that they well, in 2018 that they did like 60% off. And so you were getting like whole sheets for like 70 cents, which is amazing. And so I definitely advise you to, if you're on Instagram, follow them on Instagram um, and definitely follow the PR girls when they're announced because some of the sales they have are just phenomenal. I mean, you can't pass up a sheet uh, for 70 cents especially they're like full sheets they're not cut down but they're like full eight and a half by eleven sticker paper sheets that you can use i love it that's actually one of those shops i would love to apply to pr for um it's on my list of hopefuls so there is our full ab challenge um i think i'm gonna get some cute stickers and cut this out or Get my cute scissors that have like edges and cut this out to put there. So I have these from when I was like a kid. They're perfect scrapbooking scissors. I think that's what they're actually for. And I am just going to cut some cute little edges. And we are going to, if I can get it to cut, put this in our little top banner because that's what this month's goal is. It's an ab challenge. Why not use as much of the sticker as possible? Okay, so we're just going to kind of center it as much as possible, and there we go. We've got our 30-day ab challenge put down. So we will see how this goes, and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Bye!